Hello, I'm Chavis Von Bradford. Today I will be talking about the time period after the entire universe turns into red shifted photons, random quantum fluctuations, and black holes that will eventually evaporate into random quantum fluctuations. In around 10 to the 10 to the 50 years, it may be possible for a Boltzmann brain to appear in the vacuum via spontaneous entropy decrease. Before I get into the inductive evidence for this hypothesis, let me tell you what a Boltzmann brain actually is. A Boltzmann brain is an entity that has the ability to recognize itself as an individual separate from its environment and other individuals. These entities come into existence due to random fluctuations out of a state of chaos. Now, the inductive evidence I'm presenting for this notion is based on reputable scientists such as Lisa Dyson, Matthew Kleban, and Leonard Susskind. The inductive evidence is based on relations between various probability measures for eternal inflation and the existence of sinking patterns. The local co-moving description of the inflationary multiverse will only happen if the probability of the decay to the sinks are sufficiently large. It should be noted that people, planets, and galaxies can appear from the sitter space due to thermal fluctuations without going through the usual stage of Big Bang evolution. In around 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56 years, random quantum fluctuations and quantum tunneling could generate a new Big Bang. This is based on one of my favorite physicists, Sean Carroll and Jennifer Chen. Quantum fluctuations are brief changes in the amount of energy in a certain point in space. It can be further quantified by Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Quantum tunneling is a quantum mechanical event in which a subatomic particle and wave tunnels through a barrier that a classical based particle or wave cannot pass through. Basically, another Big Bang and a subsequent universe can arise from spontaneous eternal inflation when you analyze the nuances of entropy and thermodynamics and the arrow of time. In the presence of a small positive vacuum energy which has temporary virtual particles and a certain type of inflation field, a de-sitter vacuum can be unstable enough to produce spontaneous commencement of cosmic inflation on a higher energy scale. This starts from Euclidean space and time, which is combined into a four-dimensional manifold in which the space-time interval between any two events separate from the inertial frame of reference of a sphere in ordinary Euclidean space. Inflation would then increase the total entropy of the universe without certain boundaries, thereby creating universes similar to ours in the process. I would like to recite a quote from John von Neumann. If one has technically penetrated a subject, things that previously seemed in complete contrast might be purely mathematical transformations of each other. Please take a look at the physics page for more information.